Why does understanding MPC beta lactamases matter in the medical field? Well, it's all about drug resistance. With the rise of antibiotic resistant bacteria, understanding these enzymes is more crucial than ever. MPC beta lactamases are clinically significant cephalosporinases encoded on the chromosomes of many enterobacteria C and a few other organisms. These enzymes mediate resistance to a variety of drugs, including cephalothin, cefazolin, cefoxetin, most penicillins, and cephalosporins. Notably, they are also resistant to beta lactamase inhibitors and beta lactam combination drugs. In many bacteria, MPC enzymes are inducible, meaning their production can be ramped up in response to certain cues. This inducibility can be taken up a notch, and the enzymes can be expressed at high levels due to mutation. Therefore, MPC resistance can be obtained through two primary routes, inducible chromosomal resistance or the presence of plasmid-mediated MPC genes. Now, detecting bacteria that produce MPC can be a complex process. The tested bacteria typically show resistance to most penicillins, cephalosporins and cefamicins such as cefoxitin and beta-lactam drugs paired with beta-lactamase inhibitors. Interestingly, imipenem, a potent inducer of MPC production, remains stable against hydrolysis by also forming an acyl enzyme complex which forms a D-zone with the keftazidime antibiotic. On the other hand, these bacteria are sensitive to carbapenem and the fourth generation of cephalosporin such as tefepime. Carbapenems are usually the go-to drugs, but even these mighty antibiotics are not invincible. Carbapenem resistance can arise in some organisms due to mutations that reduce influx, such as outer membrane porin loss or enhance efflux, like efflux pump activation. Boronic acid is also used to inactivate MPC-producing bacteria. When it, in summary, AMC beta lactamases are potent enzymes that mediate resistance to a range of drugs, making them a significant concern in the medical field. Understanding their characteristics, knowing how to detect MPC producing bacteria, and navigating the complex realm of treatment options is essential in the ongoing battle against antibiotic resistance.